Oh, what a surprise. Very well. Let us take a stroll. Do I sense you have something to tell me? What? Oh, uh, excuse me. I am rather at a loss for words. For though I have heard those words from many others, to hear them from your lips, from someone so special to me, is truly wonderful. I love you too. And I promise to tend you with care forever more. is simply too hard to bear. But if you will continue to help me find my beloved cats, I may choose to view that as a testament to your affection. Though I am not sure I believe you would feel the same way if I were to ever leave Yoshiwara. Still, should that day come, I hope you know. I am all yours. Mind, body, and soul. Very well. Hmm. Do you remember the poem I shared with you? The one my name was derived from? The wisps of cloud that linger over peaks lit by sunset's glow are identical in shade to the sleeves of my morning robes. Do you remember what you said the first time I recited it to you? <laughs> that was it. I'm glad you remember. In the poem, Genji is mourning the loss of his first love. Gazing at the clouds in the evening sky, he finds their color resembles the clothes he wears in his grief. The color of mourning, the color of ephemeral life. It really is a terribly sad poem, isn't it? But you know, I think it suits someone like me. Someone who could disappear at any moment. You know, it is said that the soul of a woman who disappears from the pleasure district roams the world forevermore in the body of a cat. That shall be me one day. I shall try. To be honest, if I could, I would never leave your side. Of course, I know that to be impossible. So, perhaps I really should become a cat. That way, I could snuggle up to the one I love. <laughs> Can there be anything more painful 
than parting the morning after one has made love. Oh, be sure to come back to me. Else, hmm, I might turn into a cat.